Counting the windows automatically following a prompt in natural language and it, it's actually coding this text dialog in our UI for us to see the number of windows. So this is pretty good, pretty good result. Um, we're gonna try some more stuff. I'm gonna try something a bit more destructive. We're going to say delete the roofs in this model. See what happens. Oh, that's awesome. So it deleted our roofs, as you can see. Pretty good. Uh, let's see exporting data. Get the column data from this model and export it to a uh, CSV on uh, export it to a CSV let's just see where it throws it let's see if it's able to do this actually we haven't added the Revit Python wrapper library which could be useful we added that as a variable in, a, in our Python environment, but we didn't actually provide the files. So that's a potential improvement. But let's see what happens. It might be doing several retries here. Remember, we are iterating 10 times max. And actually look at the logs in our cloud function and see the code that it's generating. Oh, look at that. Export complete. Let me just go to that folder. Let, let's see if it's actually there. Oh, it's here. Let me just, uh, let me just open this with Excel. See? I need to sign in again to Microsoft apparently, but let's just open this with code. This is crazy. Like it successfully exported the ideas, family type, material length, volume, and comments for our columns in the model. So it's pretty good. It's doing complex tasks. So um eager to see what gets built with this kind of stuff available i want to try a few more things here let's go to a floor plan i want to we tried this during a hackathon Let, let's try to rename the rooms rename all the rooms in this view to confusing names this processing time really adds some suspense to it. Really don't know what it's going to do. It looks like it's struggling with this one a bit. Oh, I like this. All rooms in the current view have been renamed with confusing names. Let's reload the room legend here. And it worked. We have the abstruse abode, baffling boudoir, bewildering bungalow, inscrutable interior. This is pretty good. So in a short period of time, we were able to build something pretty cool that can take natural language instructions and execute them directly in Revit. So that's, that's pretty interesting. And if we can do that in a couple hours, I can't imagine what you can build with more time. So I'm gonna share the code as I said, and I'm really excited to see what you build with this combination of existing tools that are out there. And um, I'd be really happy to hear your ideas and even have you submit potential improvements or stuff that you can, that you build. We would really love to see that.
I also am really eager to see what things you make Soybird do. There are a lot of improvements to be done here, but it's a really exciting area to explore. I'm sure you can do a lot more than what we just did in a few hours. So thanks for watching and for joining us for this tutorial. And I'm excited to see you in the comments in GitHub and joining the developer community in the AC industry. Thank you.